Hey guys, it's P. Today I am going to be going over what I think is going to hopefully be a valuable video to salespeople, specifically realtors, since that's what I was when I built this. And it is a simple CRM. I used it as my primary. It would be a great complimentary one to whatever CRM you're already using. And I made it because I saw a problem. The problem is every day when I logged into my CRM full of hundreds of contacts and a bunch of extraneous information, it made me literally want to pull my eyes out. Not a good feeling to have uh, when you're clocking into work. So I built another one and today I'm going to be going over briefly how it works and show you how you can get it and how you can acclimate it to whatever you need it to do for you. And uh, without further ado, welcome to your new CRM. I built this on a platform called Notion, you will see. And like I mentioned, I'm going to try to make this as brief as possible but you will see as you become more acclimated and familiar with the platform, how you can change basically everything, customize everything, make it your own. A couple things that I will mention though, just so you can get started right off the bat, uh, you can come up here and change your cover photo, you can change your logo, and of course, put in your name here. So let's start with this today section. I'll hit this arrow, we'll toggle it down. If we look at start, I just put in here just a little space for if you have morning routines that you can go through and put in your morning goals, your workday big goals, and then as you're working through them, you can cross them out. This part's uh, pretty self-explanatory, right? Let's say that you have a team meeting at like 11 a.m. and then you have like a client call or time set aside for lead gen or whatever, uh, you'll put that there. And of course, same thing, you can cross these off as you go. Any notes that you take throughout the day that you wanna keep track of. And then this task section down here is, this is more so for tasks that maybe like are broken down into a cut. Well, you can use it for whatever you want, but uh, I think it's most efficient when you're talking about larger tasks that can be broken down into smaller parts. So what you'll do to create a new task is just come up here, hit new. Let's say because I was a realtor, so a common task might be like create open house flyers, right? You could set the status here. So if I haven't started it yet, I'll put it there. You'll see behind here that it automatically populates to the not started section or wherever you decided to put it. You can just click that and bring it back up. If there's a due date associated, like let's say that I needed those by Thursday, then I can put that there. Anytime you want to add something, you pretty much hit this forward slash and it comes up with all these options for task oriented uh, things. We're probably going to do the to-do list. Let's say that you need to get together pictures, info, design, go through all of those things. You can, you know, same thing, just keep marking those off. Here you'll be able to look at all the things that you haven't done or you're in the process of, and then you can sort of just drag them over. It's super easy to just see what you've done or need to do. One of the reasons that I wanted to make a CRM like this is for simplicity and minimalism. So I don't want to be looking at it all day. So that's why the toggle exists. You can just put that back up there. And when the end of the day comes around, you can just highlight this whole thing backspace. And then tomorrow, when you come in, you hit this little plus button and it all pops back up. But if there's something that you don't like in here or you'd like to add or change, this is called a template. Anytime you see that plus sign, you'll also see configured template, this little settings icon. You can come in here, change whatever you wanna change. And then every time it repopulates, every time you hit this, those changes will be seen. So let's scroll down to here. This is the most exciting and arguably important part of a CRM. It's how we keep track of our clients. This clearly is a calendar view. Up here we see there's two views, calendar, that's what I keep it on usually. And then we also have table. And if we look at table, it's one way that we can easily see all of our clients' information all in one succinct place. Let's say 
that this is what our week looks like right now. As we can see, we have like our people's names and then these little things, which are called tags. Those things allow me to see what's the biggest priority and maybe what can wait a little bit. But let's say we come into the office, we see, oh wow, I put four people today uh, to like follow up with or do whatever with. Here's the ease of this CRM and why I love it. If he can wait and I know it's just like a, a check-in or a follow-up and he's an old client of mine or whatever, I can literally just drag and drop him into next week. But for these people that might be like priority, you can decide where you want people. And let's open Olivia's profile. So when you click her, you'll see this come up. You can go up here and open as a page and then it will pop up bigger. Here we have all the typical information. Uh, just scrolling down, we come down here. Let's say I have a call or a meeting with Olivia. I have something here called communication. If I go in here and click that, then I can see these different meetings or phone calls that I had. And if you come in here, there might be notes. And this is a pretty useful thing because let's say that I'm getting my stuff together to go ahead and call Olivia. I can click open and see, oh, here's what we last talked about. I can follow up on this with her today. Going back to Olivia's profile, under communication, we'll see this welcome Olivia, right? I get too much into this because I have another video on it. You don't need to use this if it's too complex or your clients won't like it. It's a client facing portal and what it does is it helps solve the issue of like things lost in translation lost in the email abyss instead of having to like keep going back through things or them keep asking you questions what we have here is just a one-stop place for all of this information to be back to her account again down here is just a couple other things like about her again notes this learn section for me i used it when clients would ask me questions that I don't have the immediate answer to and not only that but maybe there's like a lot that might go into it like research wise and then criteria it's always good to be able to reference what your person is looking for so now that we see what a client profile looks like let's look at how to make one come up here and hit this down arrow new client and all the things that we pretty much just saw will populate down here these client facing things if you don't like that, you can literally highlight and delete them. First thing I tend to do when I'm putting a new client in here, so it's a little more fun, is I add a, an emoji of like something that reminds me of them. Otherwise, you just come in here and type in like their name when you next want to contact them. Uh, this is another thing that if you click back out of this, you'll see that automatically she's on my calendar for tomorrow. Just going over these fields like super briefly because they're pretty self-explanatory. This is a little place to put like what you have to do next with her. Is that tag section for how soon, uh, basically prioritizing. Status is kind of obviously w where she's at in the sales process. Identifier, I usually put here where we met or however we met. Tags of like what she is. So if she's a buyer and she's also an investor, I can do that. Um, if she's already signed a buyer's rep with me, I'll put that. And uh, what you can do is you can always add new things. Say that she is also, she wanted to buy commercial real estate, then you can add those and they'll just like come up here. You can always delete them just like that. Then email, phone, etc. come down here, fill out the rest. So that's a pretty simple overview of adding new contacts. You'll be able to reference these example seller and buyer. Scrolling down, we come into our deal tracker. Okay, so as we can see, I have it pretty much split up. Our pre-appointment, active, escrow, or whatever the equivalent would be in like your specific sales role, and then closed. Click on one of these. We see, okay, it, this is tied to Olivia. Uh, she's selling her house at 123 Main Street. Gives us the stage status. And here's a bunch of tags that I have preset in here. Uh, when it's closing, sales price, 
And then here are all the dates, parties, money. Also try to keep track of like addendums and amendments if I have those. Here's an example of a buyer that I'm working with. So I see he's pre-approved. We have an offer that we're waiting to hear back on. All right, so now let's super quickly add a deal. So we hit this down arrow, hit new deal. And what we can do here that's actually really cool is we can tag someone. And how you do that is hold shift and the at symbol. If we mention someone in here, like let's say Kat, can click her. Let's say that she's also a buyer. I can put in what stage she is, uh, put all of those things. And then uh, these aren't really super relevant until get under contract. Much like the other things that are similar to this, you drag and drop them as things close, etc. The cool part about tagging someone, you come in here and this is called a backlink, anything that has that arrow. So if I click it, it brings me to her profile and that's just, Another thing that I think is kind of efficient uh, because anytime I want to update something with her, then I can add it there. Two more really quick things. So first thing is this praise. On days that you're like, oh, this sucks and I don't feel like doing this and you need that extra little motivation, I think it's really nice to have all of your positive reviews and pats on the back all in one place. If you guys work with a lot of investors, here is a place where you could put them, just have their name, their budget, uh, where they're interested in and um, different property types. Basically, you just come up here, enter all their information, same as everything before. So guys, that's about it for today in terms of walking you through the CRM. I really hope that it helps some people. I know that it helped me automate and be more efficient at my work when I was uh, a realtor and continuing to help me. Uh, like I mentioned, it is able to be acclimated to whatever industry you're in. If there's any questions, comment them below or you can DM me. And of course, if you want this CRM for yourself, which hopefully you do if you find value in it, uh, there's gonna be a link up there and then also one in the description that will have an explanation of how to uh, actually get it and start using it yourself. So with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and whatever you're doing, keep killing it out there. And my cats that are sleeping, say hi, positive vibes all your way.